This is the small rig 3784 camera cage for the Panasonic GH6. Comes in a very simple box. Just some bubble wrap. Okay, so the top part has six quarter inch 20 screws and one three eighth inch 16 thread with the mounting holes. On the right hand side, you have three quarter inch 20 screws, so you can attach anything you want there. And on the left hand side, you have a cold shoe mount. On the left hand side, again, you have quarter inch 20 screws and three eight inch 16 screws with the locating pins. There's a M2.5 screw here and okay, it's just on one side. So on this side here, you'll be able to screw this into the eyelet of the camera to make it more stable. And then you have the screw on the bottom of the camera. And on the right hand side, you have the grip. Again, 3 8 inch 16 and quarter inch 20 screws with the mounting holes. And there's a place here and here to attach a neck band or hand strap so that it goes around your hand and on the front you have two screws to attach lens support or something else potentially and again on the left hand side you have this place which you can attach a cable protector so that needs to be purchased separately. And on the bottom you have this tool for screwing and unscrewing things. And on the bottom you have these quarter inch 20 screws. And I'm actually surprised there's no 3 8 inch 16 screw on the bottom of this. So you have a quarter inch 20 thread here with locating pins and a bunch of quarter inch 20 threads as well. I'm not going to tighten it all the way yet because I want to check. This is interesting because without actually screwing the cage on there's a lot of play in this cage, which is a little bit unusual in my opinion. Usually you want the cage to slot into place, but here you can move it. Obviously once you screw everything in, it will be fine, but still I don't think it should be this loose. So not a nice fit at all. You have the NATO rails here as well on this side for attaching anything. Is it? I don't think it, this is not a NATO rail, is it? No, there's no NATO rail on the top. Um, let's see on this side. No, no, there's no NATO rail on that side either. So only on the left hand side you have NATO rail. Okay, I'm gonna screw. I'm gonna screw in the this part which is for the which goes through the eyelet to stop the camera cage moving about okay I haven't fully screwed it tight yet but I need to screw the bottom part in as well this cage didn't actually have a locator pin to fit into the GH6. Okay, I mean, once you screw everything in, it's fine. It sits in place, but I don't know. I, I, I didn't like the fact that it plays about so much without, without the screws. And if you look on the bottom, it looks to me that the camera is not straight on this and it I don't know, you can judge, does that look straight? Looks like it's a bit on, at an angle. Which is strange because this screw is 
also screwed in so in theory you shouldn't be able to I'm gonna tighten this screw to like if I tighten it it should might actually make it worse okay so that one's tightened all the way and this side is tightened as well okay so the, this blatantly is sitting at an angle so it's going in this direction the cage relative to the body of the camera although the front part has these ledges here it's actually sitting firmly against the camera body so it's a It's okay. It's maybe just just the design, or maybe I'm trying to figure out whether this is how it should look or not. So you can access all the buttons here, um, the dials, the flaps open comfortably. Um, oh, it, the battery door is stuck. This is interesting. Okay, so I thought this didn't look right. So the battery door is actually stuck. It doesn't open up. But this is weird because, because there's only two screws to fit this cage, one here and one on this side in the eyelet. So I guess if I remove the eyelet screw, I will be able to twist the camera within the cage and that should let me open the camera cage. Okay, so now it opens, but then that means the eyelet part you can't screw in the eyelet into the so I don't know if you can see this here but if you screw in the eyelet tightly then the battery co compartment won't be able will be inaccessible then if you move it back you can access the <laughs> battery compartment okay maybe I need to return this turns out it looks like a waste of money to be honest but this is quite disappointing because the camera moves in the camera cage and if I tighten this screw here then this comes forward and I won't be able to open the battery. This is a complete waste of money if I can't open the battery door on the camera and if, I, if I'm supposed to not tighten this screw that means the camera will be moving around. Small Rig has a big discount for this cage on their website so I suspect they are aware of the problem and they are trying to dump their stock as soon as they can and discontinue this product since they already have an alternative cage for the GH6. Anyway, let me know if you have any questions or if you want me to demonstrate something.